to do. We are going to be having engagements. Uh, uh, media is angry to do. Yeah. <laughs> hey, God. Where is Jadis Zola? She's not here. Eh? She's on her way. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All right. Gentlemen, when we get to the part, we welcome first timers and those that are joining us for the first time later on. Um, so, how was Sunday for everybody? How was Sunday service? Seriously, how was Sunday? What was it like? Eh, Victor, your relationship is sticky shape, huh? I know, the way you are laughing. There's no, there's, I have not noticed Victor is happier. Yes, sir. <laughs> you know, and the good thing about his own case is that he's not discussing with me, but it looks like the conversations are touching the things that matter for both parties. Your marriage will work, sir. Amen. I know it's one of your concerns. You don't want to be an unhappy man in your life. It won't fit yourself. <laughs> but you know, you know there are some people that unhappiness can't fit them. Please sit down, sir. All right. I, I want us to please listen and enjoy tonight's teaching. And I want us to open our hearts to the honest conversations that will take place here again tonight. Um, we started a conversation some two, three weeks ago. Today is 21st, precisely three weeks ago. And we've been joining through the conversation on relationships, love, loving, and, and living productively, you know. So today I intend to dive deeper on subjects of relationships, but I did announce we are taking questions. I don't intend to use Sunday for questions. I intend to use Sunday for a brief teaching and prayers. Yes, I want to pray for relationships. I want to pray for, you know, direction and all of that. But is it possible somebody has a question tonight? Is anybody armed with a question or maybe between Sunday and now, one babe did you one hard thing or something, you know? Or one brother did you one strong thing? Um, one brother did you one strong thing? Okay, so. <laughs> Just in case it's more than the regular. <laughs> You know that these discussions is to break relationships sometimes. So please, does anybody have any question? Do you have any question regarding relationships, age differences, you know? That's why people are doing like no question out. It's already jump starts your brain. <laughs> yeah, any questions please? This church, let's enjoy church. I beg, it's not a much right, I beg. Let's enjoy ourselves. So we will just have pre-format at church. Everything is serious. Oh, God, just relax, I beg. Relax. All right? Relax, my friend. Relax. <laughs> relax. And not to happen to you if you relax. <laughs> yeah, any questions, please? Ha ha. Yeah. Any other question? Anybody else? What age is it good to marry? At what age do you start to look for a bride? Or a groom. So we have one hand up, another hand going up. Uh, Banker, you are here tonight. By the way, let me just say something to you guys. And listen, don't ever negotiate with poverty, with lack. You see, I was, I've been thinking about something. And if you notice the post I made recently about tragedy, I said tragedy is energy. Yes. Everything in this life needs energy, is energy. Everything. If you're going to get any work done, you need energy. If you're going to ever really make anything meaningful, you will need energy. Rejection is energy. Acceptance is energy. It just depends on how you use it. So when you plug batteries wrongly, there's a spark. Pa! That spark, just as it can make you concerned, should make you happy that something is working. That means there's power somewhere. Yes, the spark can be, yeah, yeah, you can be scared. Or if you understand what that means, you can say that means some, there's uh, life in a battery. Do, do you understand? Yes, if a lady, for the purpose of just humorous ex examples, you know, say, ah, I saw my period, it's energy. Thank God you are not pregnant. <laughs> if, you saw, if you did not see your period, hopefully you are married, and you did not see your period, you know, it's energy. Thank God you are pregnant. So everything, do you guys get what I'm trying to say here? Somebody gives you rejection, it's energy. You have money to buy, you, energy. You don't have money to buy, it's energy. It's how you use energy. This life. So you come, some people come to church, for example, they are sad. It's energy. Some people come to church, they are happy. It's energy. 
everything is waiting for how you will convert it. You will never know that sunlight can power your house until somebody converted the energy of sunlight into, into light. Somebody used windmill to power his house. Somebody used earth to power his house. Now I saw somebody using sand, water to power touch light. Those things communicate to us that there is energy somewhere. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? And the truth is that you are the determinant of how much energy you can convey in this world. One of the things I want to ask of you is to know that your res just like your physical muscles, if you don't exercise them, they'll be flappy. Yes, sir. They'll be flappy. That's how your mental muscles, your men, your men, you know, you have mental muscles. That's why some people, when they are talking to them, they, they think slowly. You said, oh, oh, okay. It's like fluorescent lights, you know, perform, perform. they think gradually. Perform, 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 perform. Oh, okay, that you now come, finally comes on. Whereas some lights goes on instantly. Now, what am I trying to say to you? If you don't exercise your muscles, your mind muscles, your physical muscles, your intellectual muscles, you will, even your spiritual muscles, just like I was talking about reading. I, I was listening to a podcast this morning and uh, this afternoon, and just before I came to the office, you know, and the lady read without, um, uh, you know, all those stuttering. And you know, I used to tell you that when you read a particular book and you are stuttering, is that you don't have the, your your reading muscles have not been exercised, uh -huh. so you stutter. The people, people, you can read, but you can't read. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. You are reading, oh, but that's not how to read it because you have not exercised yourself onto it. It's not deep; it's just by exercise. That's the same way your financial muscles must not be flappy. Mm. That's why I'm really going to. Your money matters. Some of us, and I want you to please face it early, the risk you can take now is better than the risk you can take at an older age. Don't let the conversation of money ever scare you away from life's realities. I'm not saying you should just go and breast chase every electric voltage coming in financial currency. No, I'm talking about you learning to know that, look, you can. Don't look rich. Be rich in your mind. Don't look it. Be rich. It's not about money. It's about the mind. It's about the mind, sir. No matter how much they give you, it will shrink to the size of your mind. No matter. Whereas the person that is rich, no matter how much they give him, it will grow to the size of his mind. You might think it's about money. So, for example, when they say, let us give, somebody say, I don't have to, I'm not giving. That's your financial muscle being tested. Make sure your one naira is inside. That's your size. That's your size. You say, no, 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 it's not easy. How, how much will I get home? Sir, that money is not enough. Because if that money can only take you home alone, it's not enough. Yes, when you reach home, what will you now do with her? <laughs> it's not enough. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So, listen, if you develop your spiritual life without developing your financial muscles, you are at loss. So. You will be spiritually sound, but be financially broke. Though you are speaking in tongues, but you will never be able to meet up with life's needs. Because it's not tongues we used to pay bills. Let's go to Grand Square, pick one bread. Katovasa, fila, protatata. You wait and see what they will do to you at the gates. Bread that they did for one six. They, plan, they are planning to sell to you if possible at one seven seven. You now come fikalahata. Don't worry. Don't worry. You need cash. Amen. Why am I saying so? Because as Christians, many times we push every other thing to the back, just our spiritual life. And I'm saying don't do that. Develop every side. Your emotional side. Your spiritual side. Your character side. Your financial side. Your beauty side. Hallelujah. So it's just, it's just heaven we are looking for. If you enter heaven ugly to be permanent, too, better enter heaven with... <laughs> better he enter heaven. Hallelujah. Enter heaven with a laughter. Enter heaven rejoicing. Because whatever the Lord has done shall be permanent. permanent. <laughs> Don't let them permanent you. <laughs> so your financial muscles are tested. Yes, sir. When one child comes, you, you say, you know, you, just be, you know how some just born like as if they, they don't know that you are supposed to give the child something. <laughs> it's your financial... <laughs> it's your financial muscles being tested. Your financial muscles. Your, see, listen, it's not the money, it's the mind. Before you, it, because you can have the money, eh, eh? 
Have you not seen such people that they have the money and what they bring out out of a bunch is just one string? One string. You just think like this. <laughs> take. You will know that their mind is poor even though they are holding money. Can be holding money like this, but you are poor in your heart. So what happens? Those opportunities of giving don't run away. Are you listening? Yes, Look, one of the problems with most of us, make I remove glasses small, is that we think we are the source of our lives. I am telling you, there is a God that can fund your bills. <laughs> he will take care of you better than you can. You might think I'm joking. You might think I'm joking. I'm saying it sincerely. As a man of God, I stand before God. I will not lie to you. You may think I'm joking. It is God that is your source. <laughs> this thing I just said. Only God can make a man bring out money like this and say, take. Only God. Only God can make a man in UK send you money, sir. Sometimes, even if they send you that money, that money won't get through. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. You just see the money just hanging. They say there's something in the dollar rate. It's not just allowing the thing drop. What is not dropping? It's something left there. You say it has not dropped the other. Behave yourself, who? Guys, listen to me. It's not about the money. It's about the mind. Are, are, are you getting what I'm saying? It's not about the money. It's about the mind. It's not about the money. Every time I say it's not about the money, it's not about the money. It's about the mind. It's about the mind. So if I teach you spirituality and I don't teach you how to master your mind in financials, you will grow spiritually, but be very broke in real terms. Your babe can't hold your wallet. Give me, the, give me. <laughs> What's that? Give me. A, <laughs> and as it is true for money, it's true for everything. So. It's true for everything. Because the way we do small things is the way we do big things. I'm telling you. You know, when uh, Dickie used to tell me, sir, I want to, you will see his heart. He might have come from anywhere. Where he stays, some generals, can't, they, they won't even think about it. Whether they can afford it or not, the problem is their mind can't go, their mind can't even say, let's try the price. It might even be something they can afford, though. But their mind say, no, me? Who bought me where for this island? May we they go my way? That's without checking. Okay, let me give you an illustration. This I say humorously. I hope you will not take it wrongly. I know of a particular person. I don't want to mention names or something. He's someone I think, by the knowledge of, of what I have of his salary, he should be able to afford good place. When I, when I said, where do you want to? He asked me, sir, uh, sir, please, we want to come from this area to this area. We need a reliable... Um, um, agents. You know how people look forward to pastors to just recommend trusted when it comes to trust, they know that okay if pastor can say this one is good the light guy is likely going to be good. That's why I can't recommend true true. The guy is someone that can afford. But you see where he started his choice from was from around Madboro. <laughs> Whereas I know he can afford something around. Is the mind. You won't even branch to check it. <laughs> There are some food, you will see some restaurant, you will see like this, you will just not even check. You believe in your, see, somebody say, I'm getting richer. I'm getting richer. It's not about cash, it's about the mind. Yes, it's about the mind. Yes, the same way, because I'm going to talk about, you know, it's relationship we're talking about. The same way some of us see fine girl. Oh boy, it's not for me. It's not for me. It's for flavor. It's not for flavor. It's not for flavor. It's not for flavor. It's for, flavor. It's for you. 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 That sister is trusting God, you will come. Okay. But you just believe it's not you. Ah, a Mike. I almost faced that reality when I was dating Mama too. If you see the people that used to come and wait for her, I'll just be coming, me with my slippers, coming, focus, man, pastor. I don't pray, finish. As they come, you just see the guys parking cars, doing the doof. I say, God will bless all of you. Get out of here. <laughs> What's happening to all of you? What will happen to me? If your mind says no, your liver will fail you. Yes. What is wrong with you? You like her, you like her. If your mind can't carry it to you, you're not worth the journey. That's what I'm saying. It's the same way. That time I didn't have cash, but I had, my mind was rich. I didn't have, well, I was not so broke. To be honest, but I was then I come to my world. Let me show you my world. These guys were bringing cars. This is car. This is car. This is not leg. We are this is not leg. This one is not future. This one is here. But the conversations I had with her, the the, the vernacular I spoke. 
de, de língua franca. <laughs> so, gentlemen, let me just tell you something. Don't be afraid. That's why, that's why you need faith-filled words. Not words that will put you down. Not words that will make you feel smaller. The greatness in you will keep dying if you keep listening to nonsense. I'm telling you the truth. Nobody deserves a rose rose better than you. Nobody deserves a better future. What God does for one, he can do for all. Are you listening to what I'm saying, sir? I want you to believe God that you deserve well. Let God have an opportunity to intervene. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So we have two questions. I don't want to, because I really have a lot to share. Amen. Amen. But I don't want to miss, you know how we do it now. Questions are always very useful. Questions are always very useful. So do we have two questions? Yeah. So we have Victor and, God, you have a question? No, sir. <laughs> All your questions are answered in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so we have jo Josh. Josh, go ahead, shoot, please. Okay. Um, thank you, sir, for um, the teaching so far yeah. on um, relationships and um, love, loving, and giving. So my first question is, at some point in, in knowing someone, you get to that stage where you don't feel the same way person for somebody that you're trying to as part being excited and it comes yes, down. And it comes down. Okay. And then you begin to uh, notice some certain red flags. Okay. Oh, let's just say red flags. Okay. And is it but and you've prayed about it, but at that point in time you begin to see red flags here and there. But your but your subconsciousness is still with the person. Is it safe? Try and uh, go ahead with such person. What I'm asking this question is because I'm told 70-30, person is 70-30. For those who have that thinks that you won't hear, for instance, church. They're deal breakers. Yeah, yeah, they're accounts. Person is 70-30. When it comes to starting things, when it comes to church, uh, I don't align. Wow. Yeah, I don't align at all. So I, I really want to. I think there's a lot of wisdom. Give me Romans 1. You know, there's a lot of wisdom in life applications. So that's your first question. Let me take the next one. Let me not. So um, yeah. the second question is, is it possible for you to get to a point where your imagination just changes totally about someone? Mm. Someone you probably loved all your life, and uh, all of a sudden, there's just a total, Movement. A total change, and you're not you just want to keep this person as a friend and not necessarily in that space anymore. Is it? Because I'm trying to unravel that. That part. No, but uh, you know, if you grow, you lost, you lose appetite for some nonsense. Mm -hmm. Paul said that when I was a child, I was a child. I thought like a child. I spoke like a child. But now I've become a mature person. Or God, leave those things. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Some women, for example, when they were younger, liked canal things. You know, party popping, champagne popping, life of the party, spirit of the moment, you know, kind of a thing. As you grow older, you get, some things just drop off, you know, that kind of stuff, you know. And so sometimes it's not because you, the, anything bad has happened, but as we grow older, we let down some stuff that are no longer consistent with our new formation. As we've evolved, those things no longer become your prerogatives, as it were. So I think that might not be... Especially when you notice that you are growing up, you know, in the right way, like getting it right with your destiny, your purpose, God, you know, if you are getting those things and you are losing appetite for nonsense, I think that's a compliment, you know. So it, it, should, not be, it should not be a problem accepting the need to grow. Do you get what I'm trying to say? If you are, you are losing consciousness, you are, you know, losing value for meaningful things, you know, uh, then that may be a concern. But on the other hand, if you are losing value for nonsense, I think that's some sense, you know, in itself. So yes, it's very possible to straight up answer your question. It's very possible. And I think we all should grow to let some things go. We should all should grow should, to let some things go. I think that's a good quote there, you know. So yeah. So, so that lets you go. Yes, you don't want to let go. 
of course, you said uh, appetite for nonsense. I think that's strong more for me. Okay, yes. Then I think that answers my question. Yes. You, you lose, if appetite, appetite yes, you, your appetite for nonsense should reduce as you grow older. Then the final question is that okay. start letting go. In your mind, okay. and in the wildest of everything that you think of, yeah. you are flexible. Okay. But it happens around you, actions or perceived actions, let me put it down. Let, let me be very clear. Yes, 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 yes. Perceived actions um, does not feel the same. People don't recognize that fact that people like your friends that you say, guy, yeah, are you sure that you have actually let go? Okay. Which in your mind you believe that, okay, I don't let go. I've let go of this relationship. Mm. I've let go of this. Mm. But happens around you, for instance, if this person calls me, for instance, yeah. the first response is to want to be there for this person. And that, to anybody, feels like I've not totally let go. I think you are giving a lot of people priority in your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Ignore them. It's you that say you let go, not them. It's your letting go. It's not their own. If your letting go still affords you a chance to be responsible to the person with full chest that you know you've let go, or guys, you're letting go. Do you understand? It's you that owns the letting go, not them. Do you get a hand? What is true is that you need to know, Oga okay, is a let go. And it's not as if you were married before. Now, now your mind come before. Now your mind say go. I beg, let it go. You understand? Don't owe. Oh, you didn't get their confederation before you are, I mean, you got the connection with that person. I'm just saying respect your decision. If you've let go, or okay, let go. Do you get, it's you that owns that choice. Uh, it's you that owns that choice. Uh, the first question you asked about, um, what was that question again? Deal breaker. Yeah, deal breaker. So, so the, the truth is that you, you, if it's a deal breaker for you, deal breakers for everybody differs. But for someone that knows he has a future in God or such stuff, the truth is that faith, when you have people that don't share your... Uh, also, how can you be ringing on me? Um, sorry. Yeah. You know, when, when you have people that don't share common faith with you, we've said it before, they are not bad people. It's just that they might not strengthen your choice of life. You need someone to complement your choice of life. It's not because that uh, there, there, are, there are people of a different faith that are very good people, but they will not strengthen your confidence in your choice. Do you get what I'm going to say? Because they don't share the kind of values you share. Yeah. So yes, for example, when something happens now in a Christian home, like I told you, there's traditional marriage, there's contemporary marriage, there's Christian marriage. In a Christian marriage, there is such a thing called, let us pray. Ah. Yes, sir. Some people don't know that, that word. They don't, they don't know what it, it means. So you can choose to live um, life better with someone that will strengthen your convictions and not someone that will weaken your, your convictions. So I'm of the opinion that if it's a deal breaker issue, like you said about going to church, I would even say that that's a big deal. Maybe she's just not found the church that she resonates with. But I would think whoever wants to date you should agree with you, should like on your choices, or you both should like on your choices, so that your choice of church will be both um, agreeable. Do you get? So I think you should consider it strongly. I will tell you the truth that it's going to affect you if you compromise that decision. Um, there are many more good people that have what that lady has and are ready to go to church. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. yes. So why, why, yes, sir. why compromise? Many, sir. Many, sir. Many. Yes. Far, yeah. better. Far better. God. In fact, that's even the truth. God always, and then you said something when you were asking, after praying, I don't know if you remember you said so. Yes. yes. If after praying, you feel this way, oh God, respect your prayer. God has answered. <laughs> yes, now. You prayed, God answered, you are doubting. No, you pray, you expect. Then, you know, let me, let me, I'm going to share a video after now. A very nice video. Somebody asked, it was a skit. You know, when you, when you have some friends that they don't ever post nonsense, you just want to see what they post. I don't know if you know such people. I have a friend like that. So it was these guys. Is it Samuel L. Jackson or there's another guy that they used to do behavior? Eh? No, no, not Jerry. Jim. This one is an elderly man too. Eh? White hair. No, no. There's another crazy guy like this. I used to do like Don too. 
Anyway, he said something. He said, if you ask God, eh? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Okay. Have you seen that skit, right? Very beautiful skit. A video, whatever I'll call it now. TikTok or something. He said, if you ask God for um, courage, he said, do you think he's going to give you, you know, he said, if you ask God for patience, do you think God will give you patience or he'll give you something to be patient about? If you ask God for courage, do you think he will give you courage or he give you something to make you courageous? Yes, then the third one was, if you ask God for love and happiness, don't you think he's going to give you something to really prove that you love the person? That was very useful. Because God will not give you more love. He will give you an opportunity to love. <laughs> I know some of us are still thinking, like that fluorescent I said, it is, it is, you have to watch it again, rewind, catch up, rewind, catch up, speed, <laughs> but it's okay, it's, it's okay. I thought you guys would laugh too, true. But see, so, 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 but it's okay. The point I'm making to you is that God won't give you love. He will give you opportunity to love. That means the person is doing annoying things and it's your opportunity to love the person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, because if you think about it, just like if you ask God for a chair, he won't come and give you a chair. Mm -mm. He will give you wood. He will give you a hand. You know, God uses our needs and produces the capacity of what we are asking for from inside us. From inside us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, I don't know if I spoke to that question. I hope, I hope that rests the question well. Yeah. Vicky, quickly. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yes, please. Red flags. And one of them was yes. So I I want to ask, you uh, for some of us, yes, I I'm from a family that does scriptures, and and uh, there was a point that my mom was telling me that I should marry you from amongst them. So, so the issue of uh, pride, okay. that pride issue came up, and it was it's it's a very serious issue. Concept, yes, to deal with. So as a Christian, our uh, for me not to prove that I. Because actually, like I'm saying, I will do what I want to do. Because there's, uh, there's, there's some power also that. As a son, as a son that knows what to, knows first, you know where you are going. You know your family wants to respect your family, and also your decision wants to respect your decision also. How do you approach that kind of issue? Is that when when uh, examples were coming? Because there is something like a trend in my father's in that the people that married inter, so they didn't do it. So one thing, one thing happened. Uh, children somehow come and carry on again. So th those examples were coming in, and so it was serious. So how, as a child, how can you handle this kind of issue? That's Very good question. No? I feel like saying we should clap for that question first. <laughs> Very good question. That's not to undermine the other question. I just felt that that question is something I really thought we should answer. You see, let me tell you the truth. Um, it were, that's what I was saying, that there's somebody that exists that has what you are looking for in that other tribe without this contention. Let's start with that. Number two, you have to understand that if you make a choice, God will respect it. I want you to know that God respects us too. Ah, you don't believe. Genesis 4. The Bible says God respected the sacrifice of Abel. In fact, the Bible says God respected Abel and his sacrifice. They are two different things. Genesis 4 from verse 2. So, 
God is a God that respects our choices. When the children of Israel said they want a king, they want a king, God said, oh, you want a king? Samuel was, Samuel was like, no, no, you don't need a king. God said, it's not you they rejected. I choose to respect their choice. So it's, it's important to, aha, uh -huh, see what it says. And the Lord had respect unto who? Amen. So it's not, it's not that, they would have just put it there. Lord has, eh, mm -mm. God respects us, amen. amen. When you bring an offering, God first of all look at you and respect you. Yeah. And then where's your offering? Ah, ah, this offering is sweet too. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. <laughs> so I'm trying to say that God respects our choices. However, it comes at the price of our wisdom. If your wisdom can't sponsor that choice, the truth is that you might still go through the consequence of that choice. That is the truth. Number two, any time you see somebody conflict against you, especially in an advice, consciously or unconsciously, that person has set a standard against you. And it will, whether knowingly or unknowingly, will be watching out for the confirmation of what he said will happen. Eh? Yes, cordial of the tongue. So they will be, they will be uh, you remember that statement? That's very good. So they will, they, will be, they will be waiting. They love you. But they are wishing that you took the advice. So somewhere in their minds, Without even knowing, they are projecting either out of fear or caution or wickedness that may he see that I was right after all. Because it makes them look stupid. Yes, sir. And nobody wants to look stupid, let's be real. So that's the salient thing you know, about this parental consent. Uh -huh. So while it is true, you can form... I'm going, I'm going. Daddy, don't worry. And true, true. If you have the skill for it, if you have the stomach for it, God will support your faith. Life will support you, in fact. But why not reduce your stress and enjoy goodwill instead of suspicion? Has it happened? Has it happened? Have they divorced? What happened? I told you. Ah, that's not something you want to hear. And some of you know how to rub up. I told you very well. I tell them, you know, here. Yeah. But you know the challenge, <laughs> Mama put idiot. <laughs> but you know the challenge is that sometimes our names, until we find battle, we don't demonstrate victory. It is Victor. This guy, Victor, they, <laughs> they like fights. <laughs> he just, went everywhere, it's just normal. It's not normal for him. <laughs> so you might, you might not, if it be your name, I don't know, I'm just a joke. You know, but I'm just saying that, on a serious note, you want to check that those type of then now, number three, there is even an example. You understand? So what do you do? Pray. It's only prayer. If God gives you an answer of peace, bold up and move on. But don't because of the fear of losing her, everything you said, now go ahead to disobey your parents. Don't because of your parents lose her either. This is where only you and God can settle. Only you and God, sir. Do you get my point? Because the truth is that anybody that has told you, don't do this, 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 and he has authority, is waiting to say that, I told you. Either out of fear, caution, or outright wickedness. Do you know the difference? Because uh -huh. some of them is out of caution. They are saying, I told you now, don't, why did you do it now? Do you understand? Some is out of fear. Hey, oh, this is the way they live their family. You see, and you know history likes to repeat itself. You know, without pushing history, history is looking for what to happen. Do you know? Uh -huh. So, your papa married two wives. You go see yourself, they plan married two wives. Your mama, you know, just life happens like that. So, in my opinion, pray. If the Lord gives you peace, only you will know. Uh -huh. And suddenly, the heart of those, your parents can change. It's possible. But it's your faith that will run it. My faith will run up. Did I answer your question? Well, ba? Mm -hmm. But now you go pray. Say, Lord, show me my future. Should I go left? Ask like that, too. Not that you... Uh, don't, don't intimidate God with English. Ask him, Lord, should I marry this one? 
Ask, he will answer you. You want direct answers from God? Ask direct questions. Don't be asking, uh, oh, immortal God, you are the heavenly counsel. Quiet. Lord, should I marry Romoke? Or, or should I? Uh, 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 because some people, some people say, thou, thou uh, uh, omnipotent father, thou the creator of the cloud. Calm down. Lord, this is Jumoke, this is Romoke. Show me which one you want for me. God honors your direct questions. He might not say, Jomoke is your wife. No. You will just notice that your appetite for Romoke got lost. That's how your God answers. I'm teaching you now. Or the name of his will floats in your heart more as you pray in tongues. You just continue to see peace towards the person. Or that Romoke will now do one nonsense thing that we confirm, ah, Ashen Yonluli. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you, <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how God answers. Because some of us will wait in and say, to call God. God told me. God will not tell you. The God I know of the Bible does not get quoted anyhow. He has spoke. I'm telling you, the God I know of the Bible, the things he lets you quote him on is such that he will still take responsibility. Now you go still take responsibility. So, Maybe at a level you, will, you can quote him at that God said in that time or type, in that sense of a choice of a human being. Ha! Huh. I know this God small. You don't quote him anyhow. He won't just drop name anyhow. Do you understand what I'm saying? He can drop the form of the person, but it's you to still take responsibility by faith. You know what I just said? It's you to God can still. You know, if Jesus were here and he were to marry, do you know that? And he told you this is your wife. You know your relationship can still have problems. So, it's not because God said it is. You still must take responsibility. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, we've answered all the questions, Ba. No more questions, no. Abi. Eh? You know how this is if you are, either you keep quiet or Abi, how do you say that thing? Hold your peace or forever. Don't remain silent forever. But, so, can we, can we just go to the word now? Can I, can I teach you? All right. So, tonight I want to share, praise the Lord. Tonight, I want to share something I think will advance us in the subject of this relationship matter. And I want to talk about um, what I consider like a build-up of what Mama shared. So Mama shared red flags. I want to share white flags, things that you should look out for. Are you listening? And there are quite a number, so we'll run through quickly. All right? The first thing I want you to please note today is that none of these things are cast absolutely, but they are cast in such a way that your faith will make you whole. Don't ever blame God or any man for the outcomes of your life. Take responsibility. That is how it is done. You own the choice. Just like if your marriage is working, it's your marriage. It's not God that married for you. If it's not working, take responsibility too. Let me also clear the myth that there's a perfect marriage. People make adjustments to make a perfect marriage exist. I was saying the other day that if Mama and I fight, do you think it is wise for me to come and tell you, brethren, Mama and I are fighting? <laughs> That's not necessary for your information. We, we were fighting over the night. She, no, no. Except I just want to joke or, you know, maybe make a, you will know that. It's not that I'll come and tell you, you see, we'll be fighting. No, it's not for your information. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. However, the good side of our marriage is that, is what I will come and tell you. I will tell you how I toasted her, how it worked out. How she has said yes, you know, because she didn't quite say yes like that. She just followed me through, you know. Do you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> so, but what I'm just trying to draw your attention to is that it's a good thing to know that you still have to take responsibility. Please help me tell your neighbor, say responsibility. responsibility. So the first word in that word responsibility that you quickly see is response to abilities. You have abilities that you can respond to. And so typically, most women ask for the following things. Ah, there's a need I have. Please, help me bring, Turayo, you are closest. Help me bring my iPhone. It's charging. Or is my iPad here? Wait, is my iPad here, Alex? Is it here? Is it working? Bring it. I typed something inside. Eh? So that I'll, I'll follow the line. You did not give me back my iPad, ba? Give your iPad, you did not return it. It's 
ما رو ایزای پاج می کرد آیا هر یا پر 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 ایزی آن؟ آیا باشه یا what I did was that I typed it you know and um, so if you, if you use Apple there's a community you type just just to help you understand what just happened here <laughs> so yeah <laughs> eh? Oh, this? Don't mind it. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. All right, so I have about quite a list here. And I want to share with us my thoughts on these things. Like I said, they are like the rebuttal of what Mama was saying about red flags. You know, just something to look out for, whether you are married or not married. Let me start by saying that if you are not married, you are a favored person. You have a great chance to avoid stupid mistakes. Don't pretend about what you don't like. Now, if you are up to 18 here, you are an adult enough to start to think about your marital destiny. In fact, I hear by statistics that an average woman starts to imagine what marriage will look like from age 12. Yeah, who she will spend her life with. Yeah, Jesus' mother was a teenager deal with it. She was a blessed teenager in, um, in, in Israel. You know, so I, I say that to say your marital destiny is not something that God jokes with. I also recommend to you that don't plan to marry late. All this self-discipline or premarital sex you have is usually because you know if you hold body. Plan to marry early. You will always need more wisdom the marriage so don't don't think that if i'm old enough you know and i want to say this also that a lot of things that cause problems in this life is because people lack wisdom or did not meet the right people i'll say it again boldly if you fail in this world it's because you did not listen to me i'm saying it i'm saying it confidently <laughs> i'm telling you confidently at least at this age i can talk freely small now I, I can i can i can explain some things to you Eh? <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> yes. I don't even know I started growing old until I started hearing some of you's age. You know, I'm like, ah. <laughs> 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 I, I'm like, when were you born? <laughs> I'm like, hey, hey. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, I, 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 I think I can share some things with you. So, please do, do yourself a favor. Take yourself seriously. Now, let me just say this, that it's going to be beautiful if you Started to learn to hear God on other issues before you start to trust God to hear God on marriage. Start to trust God to know how, what school he wants you to go to, who he wants you to talk, how much he wants you to sow. Uh -huh. If you've never heard God in those areas, oh Lord, show me my partner. You will hear God slowly in distortions. I'm telling you the truth. God is spirit. I'm not the one that made him spirit. So don't get angry with me. He is spirit. You are spirit also. So to hear things from the spirit world into this world, it takes some conversant, you know, connection. To hear God audibly. To be able to respond to God more smartly. Do you get, guys get what I'm saying here? Yes. Just like it takes some getting used to Google Map to understand it. Sometimes when you turn on Google Map, it's upside down. Am, am I right? Yeah. You have to now turn. It takes some getting used to, okay, this is, yeah, that's how it is like. You, you get, it's even more complex than that. So there are things you get a little getting used to. For example, if you leave this south side and go to the north side, you start here, you know, small time, you start to get used to it. You start to get used to it. It takes some getting used to God's voice. And I want you to try to practice hearing God. And how is that done? You, I'm sure if I ask all of us here, how many of us have had the devil speak to them? Almost everybody will be able to say yes. It's the devil that says you should steal meat in pots. It's the devil that says you should return the cover. It's the devil that says you should go and steal another one. It's the devil that says you should drink juice on it. You see, you, see, you can't. You, can. <laughs> you know? I, <laughs> so, some of us, some, <laughs> some of us, some of us are experts at hearing the devil, but we never hear God. Why? 
I want to say to you, the same way you heard the devil, and you know it was the devil, start to listen for God. Now listen, your spirit man has a voice. The voice of your spirit is called your conscience. Are you listening? Yes, sir. So your conscience is what said that what you did there was not good. Though. That was not necessarily God. But God is, God's voice is represented in the voice of the human conscience. To make a man know that what he's doing is either good or bad. But you know that good or bad, good or bad, will not determine, good or bad, especially of what you did. But to choose a wife, it's not a matter of good or bad. Do you understand of how you feel? No. It's going to be a matter of knowing that some things connect and is this God's will for your life. So there are some things conscience can't serve, but divine direction will. Are you listening? Yes, so before I start to list all these things, I'm giving you the background to them. Take out time to pray. Be somebody who takes your spiritual life seriously. Don't rush up on God and say, Lord, show me my future. You are not different from a herbalist consultant. You know how the average, you know, if I, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, it's not like that, you know, it's not like that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? We walk with God. It's a relationship. It's a, the Bible says we walk by faith. Hallelujah. Are we together tonight? I rebuke every distraction in your mind in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you listening to what I'm saying here? So listen very well. So we walk by faith. You know, one of the things you must not miss is, I might be joking, but I'm very serious so. Uh -huh. I'm only landing it to you because it's, it's relationship made easy. Uh -huh. You have to understand that we make it easy doesn't mean that it is easy. Yes, uh -huh. So just be attentive. Uh -huh. so, so I'm speaking about hearing the voice of God. Hearing the voice of God. Are you listening? Yes, In fact, before I go into that, let me just quickly say something about that. You have to start to practice these two things. Practicing the presence of God and practicing hearing God. Those two things are assets for your life. You should get to a point as a Christian in this church that you can say, God said to me. Do you understand? Yes, Hearing voice, the voice of God is not just the asset of a pastor. It's not the privilege of a few. It's for anybody who seeks to hear. The voice of God quenches doubts. It will help you take responsibility and say, I know what I'm doing. Everybody can be shouting, I know what I'm doing. So I want you to practice those two things. Number one is the presence of God. Number two is the voice of God. And how do you do that? Very simple. Let me tell you what happens. The voice of God is practiced. Are you listening? Yes, sir. The voice of God is practiced through continuous relationship with the Holy Spirit. The voice of God is practiced through continuous relationship with with the Holy Spirit. And that means that you take pleasure in speaking to the Holy Spirit. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Don't only talk to the Holy Spirit when you're in trouble. Talk to him about everything. There is a real Holy Spirit given to those that are children of the Most High God. And we are children of the Most High God. Are you listening? A lot of people don't have direction. They don't even have joy. They just be looking at you like this. Empty. But we have the Holy Ghost. Yes, glory to God. <laughs> we have the Holy Ghost. He's our advantage. <laughs> He's the one that helps us recover when we fall. He was not there to come and slap your head. Idiot. That's not his job. His job is to give you comfort. Glory to God. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What a blessing that I know I am. I know the good thing is that he possesses us. He's not living outside us. He's inside. That's why he's not carrying anybody's name. He's a holy ghost. <laughs> he takes your spirit over. And the more you develop your relationship with him, the more clearer your ears will hear. Look, let me tell you something eh? You know that I'm not a spiritual ogre, but I can tell you that if I don't teach you these things, you will be flappy as a Christian. Yes, you have to know that there's such a thing called the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> and his presence is not just to make you speak in tongues. Speaking in tongues is an advantage, glory to God. Hallelujah. But much more than that is that he's supposed to comfort you, to guide you, and to bring to remembrance all that the Father has spoken in Christ Jesus. 
So practice hearing God. Spirit of God, I turn this meeting over to you. Spirit of God, I'm going on this interview. Lord, they asked us to sow. How much should I give? Ask. Ask. It helps you form intimacy with God. There are times that, there are some situations that only God can comfort you. Nobody else can. Nobody else can, sir. Nobody can speak whispers to you and say, you can make it. Nobody. 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 So you need that in your life. Yes, to just live like, that's why some people go and jazz up and do jazz and do fetish. Yeah. Because to live life empty is dangerous. Yes, <laughs> that's why some people lose their minds. Normal person, you know, can't handle so many, I'm hearing voices because spirits want to possess bodies. So you need the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Secondly, it's practicing the presence of God. That simply means that you are conscious of that Holy Ghost being God around you. Everywhere you go to, practice that God is with you. Yes, Such a blessing for the Christian. It says Emmanuel is his name. Hallelujah. Don't ever think you are alone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not alone. I'm not alone. That's one thing that God himself said. It is not good to be alone. That's why I went back to make women known. And he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will not leave you alone. I know you are going through stuff. I will not leave you alone. Yes, sir, sir. I will not leave you alone. Yes, you don't have to go through this alone. You don't have to. And I learned this early as a teenager, as a teenage young boy. When I started to discover sexual orgies, started to discover orishi, orishi, ah. He yeah, I said, this one, who is with? Nobody will talk to me. Last born, where they look everybody for up. You know that kind of thing. Or more. I started to look inside my Bible, though, and then I saw I'm not alone. Ah, what a blessing. You will never be alone. Yeah. There's a club. They say you will never walk alone. You know the club? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. But it's very powerful that you will walk alone. It's not a good thing. You say it doesn't matter. I can be anything. Oh, God, don't deceive yourself. That divorce you want to take. It's not necessarily going to make you happy. Out. Uh -huh. Just calm down. Be alone. Being alone. Then you now, being alone by mistake self is not sweet. You now want to be alone by deliberate. Yeah. You see that? Oh, lonely moron. Do, do, yes, uh, do, do. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I have a few things here. Now, what I will do is I will mention them and wherever I stop, I stop. Is that okay? The first white flag I want you to look out for is a person who can pay attention. Somebody who can pay attention. I said it the last time that attention is a universal currency. You can use it in exchange for anything or anyone you desire. It's a universal, anybody. That's why God says, my son, pay attention. It says, give attention to my word. Proverbs 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. NIV says, pay attention to my word. So attention is a critical value. Do you know that this word attention might look small, but some people can't pay attention. <laughs> it might look like a small word, but they can never pay attention. They are listening to you, but their mind have traveled. And I tell you, Vale. Olori, olori yeah, yeah, to pay attention is hard. You are talking, they are thinking. They are not listening. They are thinking. The one that is worse is they are thinking of how to answer you. <laughs> so they are not thinking to listen to you. They are thinking of how to speak to you to just make you, you know, pay attention. Eh? Sometimes some things are not said. They are observed. They are observed. They observed. I know of somebody who sat down and was going to die and hit her head on the bed like this. But it took observation to notice. All right? And this attention thing is in grades. Some people can't see anything generally except what is in their heads. Pay attention. If he can pay attention, he's worth your consideration. 
It's not your constitution. Let him pay attention. You to pay attention. So number one is pay attention. Anybody that can pay attention is very good. Number two, take initiative. Any, we're talking about people, flags that, you want white flags, that's what I call them, all right? Take initiatives. Can the person take initiative? You're going to your parents' house or your brother's house. He said, let's buy wine. And he pays. Not the one I say you pay, you know? <laughs> do, do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And he pays. Uh -huh. Or it takes initiative to come ahead of time before the time to go to where you're going to. It takes initiative to help you get something knowing that you are going through something. Do you understand? It's a blessing. Take initiative. As simple as it sounds. Is, so I don't want to be talking high, high, deep, complex things here. Maybe Sunday I will try that. I will go very galactic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so I can confuse those I want to be confused. But today I don't want to confuse people that came from work and all of that. All right? Take initiative. As a sister, you to take initiative. You know, sometimes, you see, the, the, the OS for life eh, was not given to anybody. Mm. You're supposed to get it. So you are talking to your spouse or you are dealing with somebody. Take initiative. Ask questions. Take initiatives. You know, what I mean by initiatives is introduce something that is useful or that is caring. All right? Take initiative or that is needful, as the case might be. Take initiatives. Number next is observe for intelligence. If he takes intelligence, or if he has intelligence, or if, in your own case, deploying intelligence as a white flag to yourself. Are you intelligent as a person? Is the person intelligent to you? What do we mean by intelligence? Intelligence is at different levels. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say? So some people, eh, their chemistry with their spouse is sapiosexual. Have you heard those words? Sexual. What does it mean? Yes. There are people that are stimulated and inspired by intelligent conversations. Eh? Some others is food, gastro. Sexual. Yeah. That is, it is. <laughs> yes. They are gastrosexual. Their, their brain wakes up at the sight of food. Eh? <laughs> ah, hallelujah. Now, food is very important. Let, let me just tell you something. Brothers, brothers, let me say this to you. You know, nobody told some of us, but we will tell you, don't talk to a sister too long without introducing <laughs> something to you. I, you would think you are... I am saying no matter how serious what you are saying is, introduce small chin chin. Introduce... Hallelujah. You are talking to us standing for so long. I could be like that before. I was delivered though. <laughs> ah, because I was very. <laughs> Stand up. <laughs> I could be like that. Because I was very focused. I never liked to. One day, somebody now said it somewhere. I didn't get it. My attitude was like, we should finish this thing. I did not know. I did not know. One day, I now heard, ah, you know when you just, oh, your heart opened, that like you really want this thing to work. Someone now said it like this. Buy Sprite. <laughs> Sit down. Buy something. Just be sensitive, small. You say she likes food. Like, you don't you like food? <laughs> you know the joke? Do you understand what I'm saying here? Yeah? Yes, a simple, simple thing. You say she like, there is no woman that does not like food. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Look, at, it was apple that brought us here. Apple. 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 
We have not recovered. He said, no, 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 no. She, she's trying to slim down. She never told him she would. Buy it first. Let her, like, buy that puff puff and that thing. Put it there. Let her make her choices. Do you guys get what I'm saying? Sisters, you two, when a brother opened the door for you, you two opened the door for him from the other side. church. <laughs> so, so if, if the gentleman opens the door for you, he's turning around to come in. Help him open it up. No! You are seated comfortably. Stretch and demonstrate support. It's how it's done. You just say, no, no, I'm seated. You It is a, it is called reciprocity, 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 reciprocity. Every gesture given to you, if you listen to proper or involve him, each person is taking responsibility. Oh, you sorry, you, you didn't have to do that. Oh, I'm sorry, you know, you don't have to. They are taking responsibility. <laughs> listen to it. In Nigeria, now your mama cosam. <laughs> Now your mama goes out. I don't even now your mama goes out. Why? Eh? Whereas people take risks. You say, oh, you don't have to do that. You know, you know. That's the thing. The, funny enough, the evil man can be doing hypocrisy. He can be doing it. But, but most times, it's not like that with themselves. It's honest. Oh, you didn't have to stretch like that, you know? So always think of reciprocity. So, so this thing I, I, I'm saying. I realize that most women are not conscious of giving. Yes, in a relationship. sir. It by default. <laughs> by default. No. It's as it's doing everybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know? So, so. You know? So, so. So. Yes. Hallelujah. Are you listening? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, the, the, the way it works is that the woman, the woman, especially in this side of the world, has been trained to be the recipient. And she's already in an insatiable need for love and care. So subconsciously, she's desperate to receive plenty love. You almost can't spend enough for her. Yes, sir. There's almost nothing you will do that is enough. Yes, sir. Now, the, the point I want you to see, don't worry, when it's time, I'll give him so just trust. It's not time. So, Ben, listen. Ben, listen. So, listen. So, what I want you to see is that you, the man, needs to be sensitive to those realities. You need to be sensitive to the reality of where she's coming from, the scope of how women are perceived, and their efforts to protect themselves. Most women are investing their security knowing that their life as a woman is flexible. So by default, in a world of depravity, they live to consciously be sure that in the moment of care, they are taking in the care. They are taking it. So the thought of giving it back is not the usual position. When you meet one who is liberated, she can become even too defensive. Yes, she can become too possessive, defensive, that if she's giving back, it's with a mind of possession. You know? <laughs> but you see, the proper thing in a Christian environment is to lose your fears. Are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Eh? We're not supposed to be living with fear in Christian mm -hmm. families. Don't forget, I told you there's traditional family. There's contemporary family. Not, nobody will stop you. It's your business. But if you say Christian, it comes with some expectations. So what happens is that as the woman you try to be intentional to also reciprocate, reciprocate the gesture, try, learn to understand the world of the man, don't seek to be understood. Seek to understand. If you switch that role, you understand that the man's needs too are not far-fetched. You too can meet up with them. 
just a little care. For example, some women don't know anything about ego. As ego is dangerous, so it is needful. It is what makes the man feel like a man. It's not the male, uh, it's not the male apparatus or uh, genitals or something. It's not that. It's the strength that I am someone. I can stand. That's why you see a small man say, you cannot disrespect me. You remember say, there's no kikireku. It's true. You don't disrespect the man, no matter how short he is. He's still the man. Yes. Yes. Because that's, that manhood is not about height, it's not about depth, it's not about anything. It's about the, the, the courage to stand up for humanity. And some women don't know how it, it works. They just rub off the person of the ego. Like I told of that lady that just said, are you not a one-minute man? That's what that thing does. It kills the man's ego. You know? And the man just feels worthless. Is that the man you still want to say, I love you? <laughs> that you want to tell, I love you, or it was a mistake? Whereas you said it without knowing that there's something in a man called ego you don't crush. You don't do that. He might not be rich. Make him know that he can be rich. He might not be tall. Let him know that his height is not necessarily a disadvantage. He might not go to school. Let him know he can be someone great. Listen, women. It's not only you. We too need to tell you that. But I'm telling you that we probably need it more from you. You are saying that the man should love you, love you, love you. What value are you bringing to the table? And I'm not talking about money now. I'm saying the strength of courage to carry on. Life is hard enough. Make it easier, please. Glory to God. So, then the other characteristic of the man I want to mention today is decisiveness. Indecision is a disease. It can trap your destiny. I sent some videos to the group. Did you guys see those two videos? That that lady said, I want a man that can decide. See, if I can always influence you, that means I can think better than you. Did you see that video? I sent it deliberately because, yeah. Yeah. So women want to be able to trust your judgment as a man. All right? They want to be able to trust your judgment. They can have ideas. Don't kill their ideas. Don't squash it and say that's nonsense. How do you think like a fish like that? That's not you. Don't talk like that now. What's wrong with you? Must we teach you everything? Uh -uh. You don't insult people and think they will respect you back. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, uh -huh. You calm down. You can even take the idea and say, eh, I'm coming out. Thank you for that idea. Doesn't mean you have to use it. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yes, uh -huh. So be sure that you are not. I know women like that their ideas are listened to, not necessarily done. But make sure that if you don't do the idea, your idea works. Because if your idea does not work, you are hearing. She, I told you, you not have done it. But if it works, hey, you are the man. So be sure of what you are doing before you turn down the, your partner's idea. Sometimes it's not that you must do everything. Just hear the other partner out. Is that okay? Um, so if a person listens to you and doesn't have to do everything you say, but um, the next one I wrote here is mutual respect. I think this is a very important part of relationship. Mutual respect. I believe in a personal philosophy. The philosophy is an Igbo language statement. It's called Ibiri Kambiri. Any Igbo person here? What does it mean? It means live and let live. Yes, live. Live your life. Let me live my life. Oh, I like that a lot. Live your life. Let me live my life. <laughs> that means I'm not going to take your life from you. Please don't take mine. Mm. <laughs> I have a life. <laughs> I used to say sometimes, I say, look, without you, I will have a life. That life would have happened. Even if you're, it's not that I'm looking for you, come and perfect my life. Mm -mm. I had a life before. Ask you to join me so that it can be better. If it's not better, or guy, I don't need you. So, mutual respect. What do you want to be in life? I want to be a seller. Seller of what? Seller of spare parts or oil or anything. And then you say, really? Respect that choice. Look, sometimes the problem with some people is that 
once they get into a relationship, they are too possessive to respect the other person. So too possessive. It's my own. It's my own. Relax. It's not your own. It's not your own. If you die, they will replace you tonight. Just face the reality. Yes, she's yours in terms of relationship, but don't over possess like her. Ah, you never had a life. You know, some people think that that is depth of love. Don't worry, you will grow into it. Now, if you have all of that, love, cozy, koshi, kochi, kachi, nice. I don't mind. I mean, thumbs up. But own a life enough to respect the other person if he has to go away. Own a life. Not that you are my life, you are my life, you are my life. Oh, God, wake up. The other thing I want you to watch out for in the gentleman as a white flag is home training. Mm. Home training, as simple as it sounds, I can tell you some people do not even have home. Oh. Let alone oh. training. <laughs> home training. <laughs> there, some people want to change their story. <laughs> so they did not know home training was important. Mm. They just know that they want to live a good life. I'm telling you what to watch out for now. Home training. There's a lady that was sharing a story with me recently. She said, is this home training this guy used to marry her? And if she had known, she would not have married him. But this home training was too much. They are divorced now. And I'm telling you, but it was home training. So home training is not everything. But it's a very important thing that made this classic lady Trust me when I say someone is... Mama knows who I'm talking about. Classic lady. The guy comes, daddy a cast herself. Ah! Yoruba boy. And you know Yoruba can, can prostrate for... <laughs> the guy will just come. Anybody, when he's coming back, he buys something. Ah, Eban, Ejem, 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 The guy was... And he's tall, huge, you know, clean. You know that kind of clean gentleman? You know what I'm saying? When you see someone so, ah, and he's so, you know, respectful, kind, how are, when they're carrying carry, trade, you know, never looked like anything was a problem. He was not, uh, hey, hey, let me say this, hey. don't think that a, a bad marriage is only because the person beats the lady up. There are other terrible things you can do in marriage without battery. So when I say this marriage didn't work, it's not because he was beating her. Do you get what I'm trying to say? He had home training, but there are other things we needed that he didn't have. Are you guys get what I'm trying to say? Here? So it's important that you also check home training. By that, I also mean check his family background. Some things are consistent in the family. Believe it or not, you may want to. Hear. And I wrote here, one of the things I wrote here is check, have a clean bill of health. The person should have a clean bill of health. A lady wanted to um, get married you know, just last week called me from UK and said Reverend I said yes uh, she said there's this brother that I want to I'm thinking of saying yes to I said ah, why not she said in fact she had prayed I think I said something about it recently that she had prayed and she wanted to tell the guy yes so the next thing the guy just called her after prayer to tell her I think I said so after praying uh -huh, that, that, that called her and said that ah um, he wants to tell her something, additional information. He had a health condition. Yeah. He had a health condition. Yeah. Yes, I mentioned it. So you want to check that he has a clean bill of health. You know what I mean by that clean bill of health? In other words, it's not that he carry one uh, sickness. Yeah. If you, if at least know, if you are going to go into it with him, mm -hmm. so that you know what you are dealing with. Some clean bill of health also includes that the guy doesn't have erection. So just some men don't have erection. You know nobody will talk. They don't write it on the face now. Why are people looking at me like this? Very strange. Yeah. But you know that's the same way for women. So some women don't have wombo. They've dealt with their wombo. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to be funny. If you are going to go, I know of a gentleman who said yes, with all that has happened to you, I will still marry you. Fine, and they have children today. Wow. A pastor friend, yes. 
And that she doesn't have woman doesn't mean she did abortion and killed everybody. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Sometimes there are different issues. Yes, are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Yes, sir. So don't always think like you're watching home video. Life is not home video. You know, you just think that what you're saying, ah, she don't, she don't abortion, abortion. It's not necessarily so. There are conditions that you need. Are you listening to what I'm yes, saying? Uh -huh. So that you don't talk like as if you are not enlightened. Uh -huh. So not just that, ah, you have a problem. Ah, I don't want again. No, 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 no. So prayerfully consider it. It's not all. I, I mean, there are stories that are very all over, you know. Different interesting stories. I don't want to mention anybody's name so that I don't get into any kind of, you know, these things uh, go further than you imagine, this social media thing. Praise the Lord. Let me just give you some more and then we'll try to wrap it up. So, quickly, I also wrote it should have a close, clean social bill, clean social record. And uh, hey, that sister I said that um, the gentleman was very um, prostrating, very, uh, very nice, and all that. The, pro the guy's problem was that he was into some, uh, some you know, Ayo. investment. Ayo. <laughs> The gentleman was into some clean bill of, um, you know, moving things around on the internet, you know. So, <laughs> so, so he was, you know, a bit of, a, and funny enough. <laughs> so funny enough, people knew only the old lady. Uh, so he, socially, she just didn't check socially. Because if she had just asked everybody, as in our boys, you know, uh, the boys were like surprised. Say, you know how when your relationship, people are surprised that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> as in, something is wrong about this. It didn't last too long, but it was totally. She was just totally oblivious of it. She extended. Omolua be character to social, you know. Like I told you, don't extend credit to other people. You know, in, in Waek, yeah. you got A1 maths, you can get F9 physics. Yes. And they will, not, they will not say, ah, oh, ah, oh, this guy is brilliant, oh, ah, we forgive and small. No, they will not even reduce your A1 to B2 to give you C5. No, A1 maths, they don't extend credits. They don't extend credits to people. He might pass this test, might not fail this one. That's life. Do you guys get what I'm trying to say here? So there are some of these things, and some of these things for some people are deal breakers. Don't forget what I call them, deal breakers. There are certain things that are called deal breakers. <coughs> Excuse me. Not everything is a deal breaker. For some people, religion is not a deal breaker. You are, your father is this, your mother, they don't mind. I don't mind. For me, for example, I, I was, you know, my first relationship, the lady, very nice lady, but her father was a Muslim, a large. Ah, I say, is this how I now enter? Call Reverend Sam, call Reverend Victor, let's go to the mosque and do and do Mikai. <laughs> ah, I say, no, no, this is not the kind of life I want to do, Joe. <laughs> I'm not my mama then, you know. I just I'm not doing again, Joe. <laughs> it was a deal breaker. Nice lady, God bless you. But I was just not ready for that Islamic connection or association. I don't know if you guys are getting what I'm saying. Yes, Some things are different. Because I knew I was going to pastor. This thing I'm looking for, I can get in someone that is not a Muslim. Yes, sir. yes. And I found someone that is not a Muslim. I see, see. Ah, okay. Please. Do you understand? I went forward with my life. Where well, are you broke my heart? I'm sorry. I'll be after sorry. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> All right, the other one I want to speak about is someone who is God fearing. Some people don't fear God, though. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't fear God. You need a God fearing person. Someone that can, listen, anybody that cannot respect God or fear God will not respect you. If you will not fear God, you not think He will fear you, you lie. <laughs> you lie. No, but think about what I just said. 
If he's not God-fearing, he cannot be man-fearing. Especially babe-fearing or guy-fearing. <laughs> he can even fear his boss more than he fears God. But you that he wants to date, he has his choices. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes, so the God-fearing, and please, God-fearing is not, so, what I mean by that is somebody who can stop what he's about to do because of God. Or someone who can do what he's invited to do because of God. Oh, yeah. And that's what I mean by God fearing. Not Hulua, that person doing Hulua might not be God fearing. Yes, <laughs> do you guys get what I'm trying to say, please? So let's, let's shine our eyes. Then, as a sister, if you're trusting God for a brother, be in a place where you're approachable. Look approachable. Not that you're wearing on this, <laughs> on your wedding hand, and say, brothers are not coming. They can't come. It's not fair. If at all they come, they are not the right kind of people. Someone that will see your wedding banner and still come at you is a defiant person. <laughs> There's a story of this guy that wore his wedding band on the right hand. <laughs> they now said, ah, ma, sir, you're wearing your ring on the, the wrong finger. <laughs> he said, no, 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 no. He said, I married the wrong wife. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. So he was saying that he was locked up in that relationship, but he was married to the wrong wife. Anyway, then the, the next thing I want to point out here is that he should be mentorable. He should be mentorable. People who are not mentorable are disasters going somewhere to happen. They are disasters going somewhere to happen. Mentorable. I will rush through because of time so that we can close now. Are you getting blessed, please? Yes, sir. Brothers, please, don't play with these things. So this is just something to check your list of. Now, there are plenty. Oh. There are about 20-something, oh. 21. So you, can't, you might not consciously check. That's why prayer helps. All right? Uh, you might not consciously. Let's, let's space here. Sit down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The next one I want to quickly say is it should be passionate. Brother, sister, if there is no passion, run, no. I said what I said. I'm talking about someone you want to marry. You. Passion is a very important ingredient to come up early. It should be excited. That's what I mean about you. Let nobody keep you small. Your babe can be excited about you. Yes, sir. If anybody is more excited about you than your babe or your guy, that person that is more excited is supposed to be your wife. I said what I said. Come and deal with it. I will explain if there are gray areas, but I know what I'm trying to say. In other words, let me tell you something. Don't play with being excited over. I call it komje rush rush. Komje rush rush. Komje rush rush. The person, that doesn't mean the person should not be able to tell you the truth, rebuke you, be firm enough, or tell you in love what you're doing wrong. Do you understand? Because some people are not skilled about that. But the person should be someone that is, is vulnerable to you. Your call should make the person weak. I don't know if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys are looking straight. <laughs> Number next, relational. Not that you take the person and sit down alone. Do you want anything? No. It's low self-esteem. It's low self-esteem. It's low self-esteem. The person should be relational. How come nobody can relate to you? You talk, talk, cut it sharp. You laugh, laugh, cut it sharp. Sometimes, the people say, I'm introverted. And you, if, if it doesn't bother you, fine. But if it's a bother, it's a bother. Do you, do you, do you get, because I'm not like fine with it. What called quiet? Irony. You know it's not quiet. This person talks a lot. But it's low self-esteem. You know, we all have different characteristics depending on our environment. Some people are seated here now. Because it's a public space, they are looking gentle. <laughs> Put them inside the room. So don't be deceived by people, though, you know. Some, some people, are, it's, just that, it's just not yet their time to talk. Quickly, because of time, it should be hard working. 
that brother should be hardworking. I don't want to, I mean, undermine this. It, it doesn't matter if his work is working from home. It should be hardworking. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So, for example, in ministry, the nature of a pastor is different. The way we work is different. For example, from Wednesday night, a typical pastor, his head is already sharpened up. That's, I've done this long enough to tell you. As a man of God, from Wednesday, like tonight now, my spirit is at a different frequency. From Wednesday. Sunday, I'm waiting to finish that service. <sighs> I rest. Where you are going to work on Monday? Me, I'm resting on Monday. But I've worked all around the week. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Be hardworking. Not you see work, you run. Do the work. Sometimes the work is mental. Sometimes it's physical. Because of time, let's run. Quickly, how many do you have now? 15. Okay. The, the Lord is granting you understanding. So, so the next one is good sense of judgment. Good sense of judgment. This includes fashion, fashion, timing, words. That's under that good sense of judgment, please. Fashion, timing, words. All right. And availability. Fashion, timing, words, and availability. Please, I will just rush through. So I, I want to give you everything. Ah, uh, people, they online, ba? Yes, sir. All right. Next one is earning capacity. If it's, if he's not earning, he's probably not learning. You need to be earning, or he or she needs to be earning. Don't start dating until you are earning. Your worth will reduce if you take a date without earning. The way you will interpret actions and gestures will be, con will be jaundiced. Come to my house now tomorrow. You won't be able to say no. But you don't have transport fare. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Let's go for the party. You say, eh, I'm busy. I'm busy. You are not busy. It's the, it's the calculation of the transport fare. How you will go, come back. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't be... See, listen, brothers. Let me tell you something. When I, when I was about to date Mama, I'm not saying you should have the whole world. But have any capacity. The way you will interpret arguments when you are earning is different when you are. You can even end the argument with a gift when you are earning. But when you are not earning, the simple gesture of her calling Uber offends you. I do only want to have Uber up. I do only want to have Uber. <laughs> you are broke. You are very broke. The problem of most relationships have a lot to do with this money matter. True. I know law. It's very terrible. So, have an, we are not saying you should be the richest. You know, there's something about the dignity of labor. If it's your money, there's dignity in it. There's dignity in it. The dignity of labor. My money is 3K, but it's my money. Praise the Lord. I know that we faith, we faith our lives, but we don't faith the person we marry. We plan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sometimes our sisters like to earn. So, so there's and, and please, this is not limited to white collar job, black collar job, or the dignity of labor that ends. And I will encourage for an early marriage have what we call planable income. Something you can plan with, not that you will faith with. I joined Zenith Bank after leaving Access Bank, if you don't know, just for the records. When I was leaving Access Bank, my Oga then, I told him I was going into ministry. Ah, he said, ministry, are you sure? I said, yes, sir. 
So I resigned. When I resigned, ah, I was planning to marry. But the money of Access Bank was not enough at that time to plan marriage on. Are you guys listening? Yes, sir. So when I now left, before I joined Access Bank, I was already trying to get into Zenith. So as I left Access, Zenith just called me. Are you still interested? When I asked how much they are earning, I said, this is planable income. Do you understand what I'm saying? It was better. So I stepped into Zenith Bank, and then they posted me to Zenith Insurance. And then I started a job. You know, I told you that's a job stuff. Uh -huh. I could do a job in hundreds of thousands because I was earning in Malachi. Amen. Not Nahum. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when you're earning Nahum, it's tough. So I end, and, and I was able to fend for the family for a while. That time, the boys were still in pregnancy. Alex had arrived. I was, um, Arnold was, Mama now resumed back to job. You know, she was also in access sometime. She got on GT Bank and all of that. So any capacity is important. Otherwise, you'll be praying what you should be paying for. Then, please, I want to say this to you. It's similar to what he said. Let your spouse or your date be likable. Don't be the only person that likes him. <laughs> Some of us, we don't get it. Just think, it's only me and him. We just get ourselves. We vibe, we vibe, we vibe. It's, if he's a human being, others should like him. It's not just come around feeling proud. Who are all these people? Get my food. Get my food. He never married. Oh. He came to visit. Oh. <laughs> what I'm saying, you might think I'm joking. Oh. Yeah, What's up? Good afternoon. How are you? <laughs> but, uh, no, no. It's okay. Pastor, how are you? Pastor. <laughs> Amen. <Eminio. laughs> Let people like him. Not only you try to say that's how he is. He's not in a good mood. Stop defending nonsense. Stop defending bad behavior. Stop defending nonsense. Nonsense. Stop it. It should be likable. And it's your Then he should be practical. Not the one that will just imagine. You see, I will buy you 10 sheets. When I buy you the yacht, I will... Shut up. Shut up. Quiet. Quiet. <laughs> buy Marwa first. <laughs> buy bicycle. Not even brand new. Buy bicycle first. Make me see. <laughs> I, will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will... I will... I will... I will... You know, I have... I, I wish this is... <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have a friend that one of the reasons the babe left him was because of this thing. We're growing up. The guy was always talking high, high things, high falutian things. I will leave this one. I'm going to Bahamas. I'm going to let us start with Ondo. Let's go to Ondo first. The lady woke up one day and said, I'm not doing again. Marriage, oh. Mama knows what I'm talking about. See, I'm not doing again. She carried her two children, dusted her passports, went abroad. Which pastor did not intervene? Pastors called her. My sister, he was only trying to encourage his faith. He said, don't worry. I don't want it again. Do you understand? Do you understand? Uh, we, we, we stretching the thing. Uh, and no, but in re reality, we quit chop faith too. Are you listening, Willie? Are you hearing? We we chop faith. It's just that let your faith start small. Not that you'll be sticking it from Olowonla, Aladanla. Do you understand what I say? Start small. Where I was living before was a two-bedroom apartment. Very small cubicle. I was on TV. I was on radio. Yes. I was on TV, and I was paying in millions on TV and radio. It's not for four years straight down. Whatever you can imagine, please imagine it. So it's not that, ah, ah, low, la, no. 
I was there. That's when my boys grew up. They learned, they understood. We had body contact a lot. You know? <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> it was a small cubicle. They couldn't do anything, I would not notice. When they press, if the TV goes on, I hear in my room. But that is history today, sir. That is so much history today. It's so much history like it never happened. Like it never happened. Start small. Don't be thinking far, far. As, that's what I was saying now. As pastor, as I, and I'm a very solid person, you know, where I roll, some of you will never imagine that I am yes. there. I'm, I'm really yes. a big boy. Yes, but let me tell you the truth. All of that, be practical. And one of the things I don't do in my house, ask man, she's here. If I don't understand it, I don't understand it. Let's understand it. It's not hard. She means my... Be practical. Stop wishing for wishes. And do practical life. I only have 50,000. This 50,000 we multiply in Jesus' name. Amen. But please take it for now. The Lord will bless us. Amen. And we move forward. Till we got to a point where literally we can now pay in dollars for some things. Pay in Naira. Buy cars at once. It was not always like that. Be practical. Then quickly let me rush. Ah, I'll stop. Let's stop here for tonight. Let's let's stop here for now in Jesus' name. I hope you were blessed. Yes, sir. I don't want us to close too late today. We have guests and all of that. So we'll take questions. If you have questions, please pass them on. We'll take them on Sunday. Not today. Praise the Lord. So let me just ask a question or two questions. What's your high points? Who would like to share with us what's your high points of taking home today? Is? <laughs> yeah, go ahead, please. Sir, it's this mutual respect. Mm. Thank you very much. Thank you very And that's very true. You can sit down, my dear. You know, that's very true. You see, sometimes, I want to just add this to it. Sometimes, that's why I said the woman is used to receiving. Women, the insecurity that a, an average woman goes through is a lot. Trust me. <laughs> it's not that they like it. It's that society created it. And it's not that they want to be it. It's that society creates that a woman should check her life. Better be wise. So, the, the, even in marriage, you will express that thing. You give someone 50000 You borrow 5000 from her. You give her 50000 She said you are still owing her 50000 Why not just take it that I gave you 45000 Just adjust, adjust to that reality. Because the woman's money is marked. Oh, Kola, it's my money. But then it's, it's more of a, um, a mutual respect thing. Because sometimes they also give it back to you. You know, let me just say this before we take our communion. Please, are you listening? Yes, sir. Do you notice that the way they were even taking communion today is different? Mm -hmm. Just listen. No. You know, because I realize that some people are really, um, they are so scared. No good example of a good example in marriage. Their parents are not the example. Nobody's the example. They have to start to source and scavenge for inspiration from outside. Let me tell you something. You need to listen to me. Just listen to what I'm teaching you. 
without telling you what to do, God's intelligence will drop on your mind. Because there are some women like that, that they are just not, you are the one in relationship with them, they are not in relationship with you. They are just enjoying, when you are serious, we know. When you really need us, we know. It's not because they don't have. It's not because, but they are just like, you are just joking. When you are ready, you let us. So, there, there, there's no linear answer to some of those realities, but I just want to let you know, be careful of such things. Don't commit yourself in giving to a woman thinking that that's the proof of love. If you're not vibing together, and, and, and I would also like to say that as a gentleman, be that person the woman will be proud of. If the woman likes your person, she'll be vibing about you further than you thought. Eh? Dress well there. Get a good perfume. Let me t There's a very cheap British perfume that can work for you. It's called David Beckham. Very simple, you know, very simple, nice, beautiful perfume. Or you get uh, Ariana Grande. Very nice perfumes. They are beautiful. Ariana Grande Cloud, for example. It's beautiful. It's not too expensive. It's not so bad. The effect it will give on you. As a brother, use those things to touch up. Okay, you were not using them before. You are hearing them now. Do you understand? Yes, sir. The reason I say so is that most times, brothers, I know you just want the person to love me, for me, appear like someone that is lovable. Do you understand what I'm saying here? Look clean. Those things are important. So that she can also flaunt you. So that she can flaunt you. The woman might not have all the money, but if she's proud of you, she will flaunt you. And don't let anybody manage you. Huh? So, I'm interested, I'm so interested in this relationship thing this month. We still have Sunday, and I think we have one more Wednesday. Yeah. And we have one more Sunday. Just one Sunday. This last Sunday. Ah. This last Sunday. La final ah. So we'll pour everything out on Sunday and then on Wednesday. I just want you to please come with your questions. And if you are doing this tonight, listen to me, please. I want to well, say communion. Do this thing with prayer. You might be young. My gentlemen there. Start to trust God for your relationship. From now. Don't say, eh, it never reached me. Start early to pray that you will not make the wrong mistakes. You will not go to the wrong school. Amen. You will not meet the wrong persons Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, a friend of mine was telling me that one lady said she's pregnant for him now. Oh. Suddenly, I said, ah, what was going on? He said, I just wanted to stop you. I said, I just wanted to stop. This one just came, just came, just came to her, meet me in Port And something just happened. She just threw herself at me. And that's how she came and she's pregnant. Right. I said, now, so you are the one that thinks that you are planning for the woman. The woman is planning for you. Hey. I'm telling you, you think you're the one planning. The woman we don't size you up. On Sunday, I told the lady, I said, please, I want to give you someone that to be your friend in this ministry. I said, who would you like to be? Your... Man or woman? She said, man. Ah, I said, true, true, inside this church. I said, oh, yeah, choose. She just went to, went to, went to. I said, you won't choose this person. <laughs> so what was funny for me is that you would have thought that uh, uh, she, we, we are, uh, <laughs> and it's not necessarily bad. Yes, it's just that so many men live unknowingly mm. that women are planning for you. One small girl in secondary school is already planning mm. that this one has great future. We will go together. I'm telling you. So this one, when I was in the barracks, you know I served in the army. These girls would come with rice and stew. How old was I? How old was I? Cook. Why would come? You have to know. Okay, soldier. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah, ah. I told you the story. I carried my box. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> you might laugh at me today, but I did not know. I was like this. You will not confuse me. I was too young. Young man, maybe 17, 18. Get my box. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> ah, God has been good. So what I'm saying is that please don't fall cheap victim of the woman's caprice. I know there are good women, but there are bad women too. I know there are plenty godly women. There are also plenty rubbish women. I was with my son's phone one day. One was trying to greet him. How are you? What's up? What's I say, I, I say in my own hand. <laughs> 
I say, <laughs> I say, I will follow you through. I say, I will detect you. I will unbond you in this world. But it's like that. Like that. You say, no, 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 no. Don't deceive yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Start early, shine your eye. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, the same way you plan to succeed is the same way someone is planning that you will not succeed. So shine your eye. Tonight's communion will be taken solemnly. We will eat and we will pray. Is that okay? Yes, I want you to trust God that God will give you the intelligence for a clear future. <coughs> to make right decisions. Amen. To meet the right people. Amen. To know what to say at the right time. Amen. Are you listening? Yes, Glory to God. Amen. Heavenly Father, we sanctify these elements. We dedicate them to your glory. That everyone who eats out of it experiences favor. Amen. Experiences multiplication. Amen. Experiences joy. Amen. Let each one's eyes be opened. Amen. Let their intelligence be opened. Amen. Let their sensitivity be opened. Amen. Let their ears be opened. Amen. Let whatever needs to open, open up today. Amen. Thank you, eternal Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please, let's rise to our feet to take the communion. Give us a song.